been our treasurer for a number of years, our president of Peace Action Maine, and um, finally we got a chance to, to thank him and to honor him for the, the work he's done. So Seth, here is for you, um, for your service to community and the world from Peace Action Maine, our Peace Action Worker Award, 2018. Okay. And now that I have something in my hand from, from an organization that I just have the highest, highest thoughts about, it's like, it's kind of an emotional moment. Um, working for peace, working for community is like the highest calling that a person can have. Um, I haven't been particularly active in Peace Action Maine over the last couple of years, but for a while, uh, I was probably working like 20 hours a week, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> trying, trying to help the organization. Um, but one of, one of the things that struck me about people's suggestions earlier was, was ways that Peace Action Maine can be involved on, on other issues, uh, whether it's looking at like, all species, looking at climate, uh, looking at, at Israel-Palestine, and to me that's, that's part of peace. Um, and what I'm doing right now, uh, I guess some people would say is selling out because I'm no longer uh, in the Green Party, uh, but I'm trying to, to take over the Democratic Party. Um, I, see it, I see it as a resource bank, and anybody can be a member, and enough of us become a, a part of the Democratic Party, then the Democratic Party becomes us. And there's nothing to stop that, and, and, and I, I'm, I'm incredibly proud of this award. I'm also incredibly proud that I'd say I have a reputation right now of being the, um, the fiercest nonconformist within the Democratic Party in name. Uh, there, are, there are people who have been in, in power in the Democratic Party for, for many years, uh, and they're not getting worried about me because I'm, I'm organizing uh, and trying to get people involved uh, so that the Democratic Party, I'm, I'm not necessarily working uh, for, for all parties, as Joe said, but I think that, that the Democratic Party has the resources, and if, if doors are open, if, if people are given a reason to support the Democratic Party, and I, and I will agree with anybody who says for a long time nobody has had a reason to support the party, but if we can change what the party stands for and change the way the party behaves, uh, then it, it will be a place where, where more people uh, who have been entirely left out of the political process, the poor, uh, new, new neighbors, um, trans people, uh, just everybody, then maybe we can we can have the big umbrella organization where all voices are heard, and I suppose that's where I'm doing uh, focusing the most on, on what I see as as bringing peace to at least the main community. But um, I'm tremendously humbled and grateful for this. Thank you. Very nice.